In this video of Ghosts of Carmel, Maine, this investigation is more into looking for information. Information about a book, information about Elizabeth, and I attempt to see if I can find this book that these spirits keep talking about. This video is not more into looking at the paranormal activity, but validating what paranormal activity we have come across so far. The evidence has shown that these spirits are mentioning something about a book. Who is Elizabeth? What does Abby have anything to do with this? In this video, you will go with me in a search for this book and searching for answers as to what these spirits are talking about. Elizabeth, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to use the ghost box. I hope you guys can answer some of these questions tonight, please. I want to ask questions about this book. This book that you guys have been talking about. If you can tell me about the book, Elizabeth, Abby, if you can tell me about the book, Elizabeth, Abby. If you can tell me about the book, Elizabeth, Abby. Or any other thing that's in this house that you guys want me to find. I need you guys to talk to me about it, please. Okay? Alright, I'm going to turn on the ghost box. Hello? I'm back, yes. Hello? I'm back, yes. Can anybody tell me about a book that belonged to Edwin Lamb? That's in this house. Are you able to tell me what's in this book? Tell me what's in this book. Tell me. Thank <laughs> you. 
just quickly and briefly saw a partial apparition form and disappear really fast right in here. Hello? Is somebody moving around in here? What are you doing in here? Right, I don't... It's not very active tonight. I'm going to pick this back up again tomorrow night. I would have swore I saw an apparition in here. I really I'm gonna have to view the recording and see. Anybody have anything to say before I shut this off?
anybody in here? Stupid phone. Elizabeth? 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 Happy. What happened to you guys? dark in here for me. Edmund, where's the book? Where's the book, Edmund? Do you guys want me to find the book? What can you guys tell me about these steps? Before I turn this recorder on, I heard you say get out. Why do you want me to get out? What's going on? So, popped off a piece of the step. And wow, obviously, I'm going to have to take off a lot more than that to see what's going on under there. So, I got enough of this opened up to have a look in here. There's no sense of me tearing up a whole lot more because I can get this camera down in there and look around. 
I will use that tripod and drop it down in there and just kind of look around see if there's anything in there at all. So anyway, I'm going to do that now. I can't see nothing in there. All right, so I'm going to have another look here. Based on what I've seen there, obviously somebody's been down here because that's definitely not materials from the 1800s, early 1900s, but I do believe that that was put in there from the bathroom side and not from the step side. I noticed that when I viewed the video, there's a lot of hidden places under here. So I don't know if I can actually tell if there's anything down in these hidden places. It's going to be really hard to get in there to look. So I would say from that insulation board back, I'm definitely not going to find anything because that's where somebody's been before. I'm not going to rule this out yet, but I don't believe I'm really going to find anything here. I kind of have doubts about it. I mean, you just never know though. I'm not going to tear up these whole steps on a wild goose chase and not find anything. I'm kind of wondering what's under the floor of these steps. That's an old floor. Very old floor. kind of disappointed here because I really thought based on the knocking of these steps there'd been something under here. I mean there could very well be something under there but I'm not going any further than this. Whoa. Whoa. What's this about the book? You know, people, just so you know, I don't know where all this junk came from under here. It's not ours. Do you guys know anything about a book? Whoa. All right, that's the second time I've heard a disembodied voice of a female coming from in this attic crawl space. Are you trying to tell me something?
I really don't know where to look for this book. Stir up that insulation dust. I'm getting out from there. Can you tell me about the book? The book. Can you tell me about it? Somebody knock. It's probably just the wind blowing in here and banging stuff around. Hello? You guys knocking in here? You guys knocking in here? My camera's glitching out bad. Hello? Kenneth, are you home? Today? This is the stuff where doors open up automatically in this house. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. 
son of a bitch. Is there anybody out there? Good example of stuff that happens in this house. There's stuff thrown all over the floor that wasn't there a few minutes ago. Hello? This is what happens a lot, and I don't always catch this on video, but doors start slamming, there's movement sounds in this house, you run through the house and there's nobody in here. Who's banging? Who's moving the doors? If there's anybody in here, can you verify to me who you are? I'm just curious, why do you guys stay in here, in this garage? What do you guys know about Elizabeth? Is there any way you can tell me her last name, please? And why is she here? Why is she stuck? Alright, I'm going to turn on the spirit box. It's obviously a lot of noise around, so I don't know if I can hear you guys. But I'd like to hear from you, please. <laughs> Who else is buried under the house in the basement besides Rachel?
I keep hearing you guys say Kimball. Do you mean Elizabeth Kimball? I'm going to white noise. Hello? Did you say Edmund hurt you? Did you say Edmund hurt you? Can you guys tell me about this book? Why is it so important? Why do you guys want me to find this book? What did you say about the children? I heard that. All right, well, I'm going to be shutting this down, okay? Can you verify to me one more time before I shut this off? What is Elizabeth's last name? Elizabeth, can you tell me what happened to you? Why are you so desperate for me to find this book? You and Abby. Elizabeth, what 
is this book about? Do you know the name of it? Do you know what it's about? Does anybody know how old Elizabeth was when she died? Elizabeth Kimball. guys see where this book's at? Can you tell me where it's at? Is it in this house? And if it is in this house, where exactly is it at? many times that I've heard these spirits talking to each other during a spirit box session. I kind of had the impression that they were talking with each other while I was trying to do the spirit box session searching for answers and get information. So I wanted to leave the room and to see if they would talk with each other and if I can gather any information in their discussion. I was taking this matter very serious. Unfortunately when I leave the room there are some of these ghosts that weren't taking this serious. And when I heard the evidence of what you're getting ready to hear, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Take a look at this.
Wait. Hi. I'm back. I listened to the recording from just a minute ago. And I have some questions. When you guys... I was, listen, I was listening to you guys asking for help. You're asking for help. And then some of you said you want me to pray for you. And then some of you said you want me to pray for you. Is that the help you want? You want me to pray for you? said help. What do you want from me to help you? So based on what I heard during the ghost box session when I asked where the book was and they said behind me I'm going to search the crawl space that was behind me when I was doing that ghost box session. I don't know if there will be anything there because I've been through that crawl space once before but I really didn't look in hidden places in the crawl space before. So at, when I first go in the crawl space what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can capture some EVPs. Right here is the crawl space. But then I'm going to turn on the ghost box and what this ghost box is, I used a PSB7 spirit box and it goes through this filtering system and all this is is a speaker. This reduces the noise of, let's say you have one unwanted radio stations that you want out of the recordings while doing a spirit box session. This pretty much does away with those unwanted radio stations. Sometimes they do come through but not as much as running the spirit box without through running it through this filter system. So that's all the ghost box is. Using the spirit box, running through a filter system, coming out the speaker. Am I going on a wild goose chase? I don't know. I don't know what's in this book. I don't even know what this book is. I don't know what it's about. All I know is they keep bringing it up. I believe some of them want me to find it, I believe some of them don't want me to find it, and then there's some spirits that don't even know what I'm talking about. They keep saying, what book? I don't really see anything. Alright. I don't even, I can't even see what I'm looking at, so what I do is I look down in these crevices and I'll view the recording.
I don't see anything in here. I mean, this has been gone through with insulation put in. I mean, not unless it's down in this floorboard somewhere. I mean, it's hard to see anything down in there. All right, I'm going to turn on the ghost box. All right, you guys. Where's the buck? Do you guys not want me to find this buck? Or are you sending me on a wild goose chase? You guys are messing with me, aren't you? Is this book dangerous? The contents of it and the meaning behind it, is it dangerous? Elizabeth, Abby. <laughs> Who did this book belong to? Is it up in the attic? I kinda get the impressions I'm on a wild goose chase here. I kinda get the impressions I'm on a wild goose chase here.
When I looked into the Book of Shadows, it really made me wonder if this is the book that these spirits are talking about. Is it possible some of these spirits, when they were alive here in Carmel, were they involved with the dark form of witchcraft when they died? Is it possible that they believe if I can find this book that they want me to perform rituals to release them from the realm they are stuck in? And are some of these spirits warning me not to get involved, that I could end up dead? After looking further into the Book of Shadows, it was as if some light turned on and my understanding opened up to some possibilities of what's going on here at this paranormal activity. Is it possible Alfred was involved with dark form of witchcraft? Rachel, not knowing that Alfred was involved with this witchcraft, she got involved with him, ended up pregnant, and it cost her her life. Is it possible that Elizabeth and Abby were also victims to this form of practice? But then I started thinking, does this go all the way back to the 1850s where witchcraft became prominent in this area? And then I can't help but to wonder if the murder of Naomi Mitchell was also a ritual form of dark magic. And then I started thinking about James Hicks, the serial killer here in Carmel, Maine. Was he also involved with the dark form of black magic? I have talked with two witnesses. They stated when he was younger, in his teens, they saw him out in the yard cutting the throats of animals. One person even said that they knew that James cut out their hearts. When serial killer James Hicks murdered his victims in this area, was he performing some type of ritual involving black magic? We do know these murders were gruesome. It involved dismembering his victims' bodies. Some of these spirits that are asking for help. Was it possible they were involved with the form of dark magic and they became stuck over this in death? If some of them want me to find this book to perform rituals so that they can be released from the realm they are in, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to get involved with something that is that dark. Let me ask this. Ask it. Ask it. Are you guys getting tired of talking to us? Is this getting old? Are you guys not wanting to talk with us anymore? Rachel left, you guys aren't really responding much. Why? I just want to ask this question real quick. And that, Kenneth and Janae has questions. 
Two questions. I'm sorry. You guys know me. One. Okay, that's right here. What? What did you say? Is there any way you can tell me where this book's at? One of you guys said it was behind me, then you say it's on a wood shelf. I mean, what wood shelf are you talking about? You said the wood shelf in my bedroom. You talking about that shelf where I got those big speakers and stuff sitting on? Where the monitor just got thrown at me tonight? Were you talking about another shelf? My head's fine. I thought he said, how's your head? Because it almost hit me in the head. Yes, it hurt. Pain, yes. Pain. Thought he said, how's your head? Because it almost hit me in the head. Yes, it hurt. Pain, yes. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to know about this book. I don't want to spend a bunch of time looking for a book that's a wild goose chase. Alright. For now, I'm going to drop the subject of the book. I'm not going to bring it up anymore. Unless you guys want me to find the book, you guys tell me about it from here on out. I'm done looking for it. Alright? If you really want me to find it, talk to me about it. Other than that, I need to move on with these, with all you guys. I mean, obviously a lot of you still want help. Alright, so Kenneth and Janae has questions for you guys. How many of you are in here with us tonight? Did she say 27? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know there's some old antiques up here. The baby carriage, the bikes, chairs. Is any of this whole thing of value to one of you? Maybe you have some history with one of these antiques up here. Some old chairs and stuff. Old rocking chair. One of you used to sit in it. That used to be one of your kids' baby carriage. Is that what attracts you to this room? Maybe you want us to leave you alone?
John and Annie Ruggles. Are you guys here? John and Annie? You are? You are here. John and Annie Ruggles. Are you guys here? John and Annie? You are? You are? You are here. You are here. John and Annie, I have a picture of you guys. There's a horse standing next to you.